Hey everyone, I'm going to show you guys how I got this three strand twist out. If you're interested in learning, keep on watching. So I'm starting off on freshly washed hair and I'm just spraying it with my leave-in conditioner. I'll leave what it is in the description box. If you guys are not new to my channel, you guys already know how much I love this stuff. This is like top three products in my list. So this is what we're going to be using today. So separate however large you want your twist to be. And I told you guys, I'm not playing with this stuff. It was a new package that I opened and that was on the seal. So I'm not going to waste it. <laughs> so I'm just spreading it around. And I'm just using this fake Demon brush just to make sure all the kinks are out. Because I want it to be as smooth as possible. So I'm starting off as a braid. This is completely optional. But I'm only doing this to help me notice the difference between the two and also to kind of secure my roots because I don't like how twist outs leave my roots like me and twist outs we got a little bit of beef I don't trust them completely yet so this is what I'm doing again it's optional unlike a braid where you kind of cross over everything this technique you just wrap it around so you just take one piece and wrap it around itself I know it's kind of confusing at first because we're used to braiding and you're naturally gonna want to braid but don't worry you'll get the hang of it if you keep practicing So because this was my first time doing this style and I don't completely trust twist outs yet, um, I decided to use this just so my ends are nice and curly. This is completely optional. So again, this technique is completely optional. You can start your twist right from the root. So I'm just taking one piece and wrapping it around. And again, you guys don't have to be experts at this the first time. It took me a couple of tries before actually wanting to do this style. So just practice. Again, take your time with this there's no rush say like even I messed up on this it's completely fine so just make sure you catch yourself and take your time I'm adding a little bit of product and adding my perm rod at the very end so I'm all done I wish I got a better shot for you guys but I'm telling you, I was so tired, so I'm laughing at myself at how fast I'm putting on my scarf because I, I really was tired, like I was ready to go to bed, I was over it. So it's the next day, and if your twists are not completely dry, you can go under the dryer or you can air dry or take the blow dryer and run it over your twist, it's up to you. Taking these down are really easy because they naturally fall apart, at least when I did it, they naturally fell apart. I'm going ahead and separating my twist. When I go from wet to dry without sitting under the dryer completely, I get frizz. It's just how my hair is. I've accepted it. If you don't have that, you are lucky. But I'm just going ahead with the comb. You can take a pick and just pick out as much as you want, separate as much as you want until you're satisfied with how big your hair is. you all really enjoyed this tutorial let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to follow me on instagram at christina moore thank you guys so much for watching stay blessed and i'll see you in my next video Bye.